Hi friends, myself Pratish Goja. Today I want to give you a small shortcuts regarding the current electricity to solve the this kind of complicated circuit. So this kind of complicated circuits, whenever they give it, so yes, R, R, this is 2R, this is R, this is 2R, this is 2R, and this is R. So whenever they give it this kind of diagram, so we have to check first if these two are connected in series and RR becomes it is 2R. It is a cyclic process. This is 2R, again 2R and 2R is parallel. So for this shortcut formula, I give a beautiful shortcut for that. So finally you will get the answer is 2R by 3. If they ask effective resistance between M and this is the formula. 2R by 3. Guys, you see, this is the shortcut formula. Suppose this problem they will they will give in different different ways. See, they may give it here. This is 3. This is 3. This is 6. Again, this is 3. This is 6. This is 3. This is 6. This is 3. And this is 3. Now, if they ask what is the effective resistance between these two points M and N, I give a beautiful shortcut, no need to do anything, just the effective resistance between M and N. If you use this formula 2R by 3, so 2 R by how much 3? So we will get otherwise the ratio of these two. Ratio of these two, 6 by 3, how much? This is 2 ohms. The ratio of this and this okay guys this is the shortcut we are doing if you want to do this kind of problem this is the shortcut just r by 3 is the correct answer is 2 so we can do like this see these are the combination of the resistors they give r r r r they ask what is the effective resistance between the point a and b See guys, a, a small shortcut, small shortcut, see, it is a balancing which to which R and R, balancing which to which condition, P by Q is equals to R by S, means this ratio R by R becomes R and this is, so we can remove this resistor. We are removing the resistor. So whenever they ask, if all are identical resistors, all are identical resistors, if it is R, 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 so what we get, suppose it is, 1, 1, 1, 1. Answer is always effective resistance is equals to R only. Means if you take here 1, 1, 1, then effective resistance is 1. If you take this is 2, this is 2, this is 2, this is 2, then effective resistance is 2. If you take this is 3, this is 3, this is 3, this is 3, then the effective resistance is 3. Shortcut, if they are having the same, same resistance value, this is R, this is R, this is R, this is R. Now, what is effective resistance value means? Effective resistance value means the resistance value. Condition is all resistance value should be equal to each other. Okay, guys. See, please. See, this is the diagram they given. They ask what is the effective resistance between point A and B. Here, if you see the diagram, all are identical. Whenever they given all identical resistors, see, this is R, this is R, this is R. The shortcut formula, the effective resistance is always equals to R. This is the shortcut formula. Suppose if you take R is equals to 2, then the effective resistance is 2. If R is equal to 3, effective resistance is 3. If R is equal to 4, effective resistance is 4. I repeat once again, the condition is all the resistance value should be equal. Means R, 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 R. Then what is the effective resistance means? Answer also equals to R. Please write down this point. Guys. See, this is the diagram they given. So now they ask, see here, we have two batteries. One is 15 volt, this is 30 volts, and we have three resistors. Now they ask, find the current in this branch. Here they ask current. What is the current value? So I will give a beautiful shortcut for this. No need to apply KCL and KVL. Just see, in down, we don't have any electrical component. So what I done is just I'm grounding here. Grounding means what happened? The potential is equal to zero. Means here zero volts, here zero volts, and here zero volts. So because of this battery, we have 30 volts. This terminal is zero means 
it becomes 30 volt and here we don't know let us take this is x okay and this is zero means this is 15 volt battery so this is taken as 15 volts now we are applying the junction law junction law means current entered into the junction is always equals to current leaving the junction see here i just assume that current is entering like this and leaving like this see potential difference current entering means 15 minus x 15 minus x I repeat once again 15 minus x 15 minus x by resistance 6 plus this is 30 minus x by resistance value 3 is equals to x minus 0 means x by 3 so now i just multiply the both the sides with the 6 numerator i multiply the 6 6 6 get cancelled becomes this is 15 minus x this is two times get cancelled it becomes 60 minus 2x is equals to 2x so this 2x this is 2x this is x it will go that side it becomes 5x this is 75 75 is equals to 5x so x is equals to 75 by 5 so it becomes 5 1 ja 5 5 is 25 so 15 volts means here 15 volts we have so current they ask current is equals to 15 minus 0, 15 by 3, that is equals to 5 amperes. It's very easy friends, we can use this kind of problems without using any voltage law here. Just I am applying the, there is no electrical components are just connected to the ground, then what happened, the potential is 0 here. So I am applying the current law here, okay. Thank you guys, have a nice day, we will meet in the next one. Thank you, have a nice day. If you like. Please like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you very much.